Today we're going to talk about uh, the application for the discharge of a care order. Uh, the application for the discharge of a care order is a situation where um, there is already, uh, since it's assumed in this discussion that uh, a care order is already in force, uh, that is a full care order, and the child has been looked after by the local authority. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the general principles, and it's uh, for the purpose of the uh, the, the wider public, uh, but it could be useful uh, to practitioners. Uh, but generally, it's uh, information that is not case specific, but very broad. And if you need a case specific uh, um, advice, then you need to uh, go to a solicitor. But this information will help you in understanding what you may discuss uh, with any professional. It's worth mentioning from the outset that um, a, a, an application for a discharge of a care order can be brought out, uh, can be brought by way of an application for uh, residence or by an application for the discharge of the care order. Um, the application for residence order and discharge of a care order are effectively the same. And the approach of the court is that the, 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 the both sets of application uh, are in effect the application for discharge of an existing uh, care order. Uh, the, in considering such an application, the court applies the following legal principles. Firstly, um, the the decision as to whether or not to uh, discharge a care order is solely at the discretion of the court. Um, there is no obligation on a party, or I mean on a parent, to satisfy the court that the threshold requirements no longer apply. We're not going to go into detail as to what is threshold in this uh, talk, but it's worth mentioning that that threshold was what was established to uh, originally to uh, put the care order in place. Um, in so far as any uh, party asserts a fact which they wish to rely in support of a submission as to the exercise of the court's uh, discretion as to whether or not it should remove the uh, care order, the burden of proof is on the party making the assertion and the standard of proof is what uh, is known in lawyer terms, uh, the balance of probabilities. Generally speaking, however, um, we shan't focus on the legal aspect of, uh, mainly of the legal aspect of uh, discharging a care order, but just to give a flavour of to how this can take place. When determining the application, the court will apply the principles in Section 1 of Children Act 1989. The child's welfare is paramount and the relevant factors in the welfare checklist in Section 1, subsection, subsection 3 must be considered and given appropriate weight. In exercising this discretion, by, uh, that is the court, um, it, the court must have regard to the important principle acknowledged both in English law and the European jurisprudence. Jurisprudence means legal thinking. That children should, wherever possible, be brought up within their natural family and, in particular, by their birth parents. And that, where families are separated by court orders, public authorities, including local authorities and the court, are under an obligation to take measures to facilitate family reunification as soon as reasonably feasible. In support of an application for the discharge of a care order, there is a document called a core assessment. This is triggered as soon as a person makes an application for the discharge of a care order. 
Alternatively, as soon as a person communicates to the court, or I mean to um, the children's services, that he or she uh, wish that the care of it is charged, the, the uh, local authority will consider whether or not to immediately start an assessment. Um, the assessment will take into account all sorts of factors, which uh, this talk, uh, there isn't enough time to go into detail as to what the local authority will take into account. But suffice it to say that the focus of the assessment would be on what is in the best interest of the child. Um, to assist the assessment, it would be uh, in the interest of a would-be applicant to have a good relationship with the child. And such a relationship is usually uh, examined in the context of contact. Whilst uh, the assessment or core assessment relating to the application may be ongoing, the local authority may want to also do other types of work with the applicant or uh, the applicant and the child. The key here is cooperating with the assessment, working in partnership with all the agencies to achieving the best outcome for the child. I hope this has been a useful introduction to what uh, the discharge of a care order is about. Further information and full detail, if you are willing to make such an application, please talk to the local authority or a solicitor for more information. Thank you.